Okay, everyone. Uh, tonight, I'm going to show you how you can bait the electromagnetism into your coils. Um, so I'm going to explain that. It's it's real easy to do. And uh, what you want to do is concentrate the electromagnetic lines, of course, into your coils. Okay? Because normally, you see, air is very resistant to a magnet magnetism. Uh, so uh, it, it does something like this. It fans out because it wants to go back to the, the, the other side. So it fans out like this, okay? And uh, since your coils are going on top and your magnet is on the bottom rotating, you don't want this, this, all this magnetism to fan out. What you do want is you want the magnetism to fan in towards your coil. So it concentrates all that energy into your coil, thus providing more electrical energy and electrical thrust. Okay, that's what you want. So let me show you how to do it. So just like this little boy concentrates electromagnetic energy, the sun, into a focal area, uh, uh, magnetism is the same thing. It's an it's electromagnetic wave, and you can focus it into a small area. And that's what I'm going to show you by baiting the baiting the electromagnetic lines of force. You bait them and you make them go one way into your uh, into your coils. So uh, so when you bait the magnetic lines of force, they're going to concentrate in a small area, hopefully right through your uh, coils. You see, and it's going to give you uh, more push. Uh, so if you have the north magnet and the south magnet coming along your coils, you're going to have one pushing and one pulling like this at the same time. So that's why you want to concentrate the, the magnetism into, into that focal area of your coils. Okay, so let me show you how it's done. So normally you have this situation going on up here. Uh, your lines of force are just doing what they have to do because air, like I said, is not a good conductor. So they're kind of fanning out and it's not concentrating into your coils. So uh, without an iron bar above the coils, that's the situation that you have. You have all this fanning out because it, yeah, like I said, it wants to go back to the, the start to the other pole. But let me show you what happens when you add the iron bar. Instead of the lines of force fanning out, they're going to fan inwards towards your iron. And in between the iron and your magnet, you have your, your coils. So it concentrates all this magnetic energy through your coils and then onto the, the metal iron bar above it. So you have to make your metal iron bar the same kind of width of as as your coils, right? You want to concentrate right with along with your the width of your coils. You understand? That's that's how you that's how you go about it. That's how you concentrate these lines in that path. By doing uh, this method of baiting, uh, you're you're going to be a happy camper because uh, you will have caught the the fish. So you got to think logically. You have to bait it, bait the magnetism so it comes to you. Look at the kid. He's smiling. The other kid, he didn't bait it. So he's not smiling. <laughs> okay, see you guys. Thank you.